welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be giving you out my secret homemade face mask recipe for acne prone skin. And one beautiful morning, I just woke up with this really... What? Acne? Scars? Oh my god, pimples! Mm, not done here, but don't fear if I'm here. That's what my DIY mask told me. In my head and today I'm going to be revealing that big secret of healthy good glowing skin okay I get it I'm wearing same shirt again but this is my masking shirt so I'm slaying it okay I just made it up and it's basically a face mask recipe which has been secret for my friends sitting just right across the table and I'm saying this because whenever I used to post my pictures with that mask on and everybody's like what kind of mask are you wearing what it does for your skin and you know all that kind of questions so I'm like okay I have to sit down and talk about this mask and finally I got you know hold of everything today and today I'm going to be revealing what are those ingredients which I use on my face and these are the most easily available ingredients which you can just find in your kitchen so it is super simple and this recipe actually works for every skin type which is amazing because of my own mistakes that I was not sleeping well, I was not drinking a lot of water, sugars were there in my diet because of Diwali I had a lot of sweets which is okay once in a while and that made me break out really badly again. I have a lot of breakouts right now, it does not show up because of makeup. I just have to get rid of this entire makeup face and come bare face so without talking too much again as usual what I do we will just move forward and see how this face mask is going to work for my skin and what all you need for this mask so I'm starting off with a very clean face and just a little close up of my skin I have a lot of acne marks and little redness around my face and you can see I have few pimples on my jawline which hurts which really hurts and then I have some on my you know lip area and on my forehead as well so I just wanted to get rid of that it is not cute at all So the very first ingredient is turmeric and it is also called haldi. We Indians usually use this spice for cooking as well because of its medicinal properties. It acts as an antibacterial agent, it has anti-aging properties, it also helps controlling facial hair, it improves the skin's elasticity, it slightens the pigmentation and it also controls the oily skin and of course it cures acne. The list is long because this is just for the skin benefits. There is no doubt this ingredient is also used for hair care. So the next versatile ingredient is honey. It is one of my favorite ingredients because it is full of antioxidants, nutrients and healing components. It is good for fighting aging, fighting bacteria and moisturizing. It is also a very good for cleanser and gentle exfoliator. It can also help in fading scars and acne treatment and of course for sunburns as well. Next ingredient is rose water and it is a very important part of my everyday skincare routine. It is very good for sensitive skin, moisturizing, oil control and soothing skin. Finally, the tools you will be needing is a brush or you can use your hand to apply the mask, a cotton pad and a small bowl. So just take a 3-4 spoon of turmeric in a bowl and then add some honey and I'm just eyeballing it over here because I just needed to make a very smooth paste and I'm mixing it and I also added a little bit of rose water into it. The consistency of the mask should be a little pasty because you want to avoid dripping it off because this can stain your clothes. That's why I'm wearing something which I don't mind staining. And now here I'm taking my rose water and spraying it all over my face because that is the step which I do every time when I apply any kind of mask. And then I'm applying my mask with the help of the brush which is self-explanatory. I don't know why I say this word. I'm trying to apply this mask in every little corner and also bringing it down towards my neck. And now you wait for 20 minutes and I'm kind of cleaning up because I have dropped some of the mask on my shirt. It is super nasty, it stained everything and I think that is the reason I told you guys to wear something which you don't mind staining. And you can now wait and stare at any particular object. 
or just do some funny moves or maybe just you know sit and relax play games on your phone or maybe just call your friend and talk to her or somebody like anyone and after 20 minutes my mask feels little dryish and i will just go and rinse my face and i'll be right back and i'm going and i'm gone <laughs> and i'm back again with the magic just kidding now i'm just pat drying my face because i don't want to irritate my face by tugging and rubbing and you can still see a little bit of turmeric stains on my face that's why i prefer to wear this mask in night and sleep and when you are sleeping make sure you have a little towel on your pillow and just sleep on it so that you don't stain your bed sheets and pillowcases if you decide to apply this mask in daytime you have to just clean it up with a little bit of rose water on the cotton pad and you can see how much turmeric it's still left on my face and there you have it nice and clean skin pretty moisturized and if you want you can just apply extra moisturizer but you can definitely leave it like that because honey was there and as i told you it acts as a moisturizing agent ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. i told you yeah i told you okay that's like way too much i'm in a weird mood anyway so this completes the entire video i hope you girls or you guys enjoyed it and this mask is going to help you out and i'm going to sign off right now and i will see you next time in my next video till then lots of love have fun and bye bye